Of you, girl. Wait, what was? Oh, well, letting you two win, of course. <laughs> I'm kidding. Let's go. They're waiting for us. Ah, oh, at last. Hi, everyone. I know we have to leave, but we just had to take him out for one last ride. Oh, sure. And it just had to be an extra long one. Of course. Please get a move on, girls. The train is scheduled to depart in less than half an hour. Oh, we'll make it. I can't believe we're going for three whole weeks. It's such a shame you can't come, though, Sabrina. Aw, don't be sad, Amadeus. Mom, please take care of him. You have nothing to worry about. Promise me you'll be careful out there. Oh, we will. Promise. I implore you to hurry. We really need to get going. Aw, I'm gonna miss you, Mom. Me too, dear. Have fun. <sighs> Back to the plains of Hungary. How long is the ride again? Can't wait to see Mikos, Bibi. Hmm. Don't forget about Janos. And the wild horses, of course. Hmm. Bibi! Huh? Hey! Over here! <gasps> <laughs> oh, BB, it's great to see you again. Same. Hi. Hmm? Hey, you two. Welcome. Janos has been cooking up a storm all morning. Looking forward to that. Oh, I love Hungarian food. Mm. <gasps> Laszlo, they're back. Ah. Hey, what are you doing there? Be honest with me, Volkan. I, uh... We're just leaving, actually. We've got better things to do than chit-chat. Whoa, they don't seem friendly. Come on. Bye, Mikosh. Let's get going. Uh, all right, fine. <coughs> Volkan used to be my best friend. Used to be your best friend? Yeah. <sighs> As you can see, the view isn't exactly what it used to be. Volkan and Laszlo lived there with their mom, Marika. They've been our neighbors for years. Vulcan and I used to ride together, but not anymore. Oh, why? What happened? They found gas on their land and installed rigs everywhere. Just look at them. They're such an eyesore. Hmm. Now they want to install a pipeline across the plains, which Janos is against, of course. This is terrible. What would happen if there's a gas leak? Exactly. This is what's causing a feud between us. Oh, man. That's such a shame. <laughs> What did we hit? <clears throat> Look, almost a clean cut through the axle. Huh. The wheel's been tempered with two. So why would someone do that? Good question. Seriously, one of us could have gotten hurt, and now we have no way to get home. That's not true. Eeny meeny fit to race, axle and wheel back in place. Wait, wait. <laughs> Great! Thanks, BB! Just doing what I can. Think your neighbors were behind this? Uh, they were acting kind of suspicious. Hmm. I hate to admit it, but you could be right. Ha! Here we are. Hello! Hey! Janos! Whoa! Whoa! It's good to see you! You too! <laughs> so, who'd you miss the most? 
<laughs> hey, you know I don't play favorites. I'm glad to see you again. It's long overdue. <laughs> no kidding, Janos. Young man, Tina. You remember. <laughs> Got any news? <sighs> yes, it's the bad kind, though. Marika put an offer in to buy the farm. What? Doesn't this farm belong to a relative of yours, Alex? Yeah, that's right. That may be the case, but it's no protection. I found out just in time to talk them out of it. They were going to accept it. Phew, close one. Yeah. We're not out of the woods yet. The owners want us to turn a profit. If we can't, then they'll sell the place. <sighs> I'll do whatever I can to prevent that. The Market Square in town is holding an auction tomorrow afternoon. A few sales there should put us in the clear. Yeah, as long as Vulcan and Laszlo stay out of our way. What is that supposed to mean? We think they tampered with the rear axle on the wagon. And a wheel! We crashed and could have been hurt. What? That's despicable! Hmm. They're probably trying to run us off the farm. <laughs> nah, not if I can help it. Mikosh. I let all the horses out earlier today. Can you bring him in? Hmm? Sure. I'll go talk to Marika. We'll help you out, Mikosh. You kids have fun. Take good care of our guests, okay? A warm Hungarian welcome. See you later. Oh, if you get hungry, there's sandwiches in the kitchen. Hiya! Bye! Last one to the kitchen's rotten egg! <laughs> <laughs> Relax, Baboshko. I'm almost done. How's Tamo? Ready to roll. <laughs> you two are slow. Masha and Attila are waiting. All set. Okay, let's go. <laughs> yeah! Eat my dust! <laughs> it's not a race. Whoa, Baboshko. Whoa. Whoa, easy. Wow, grasslands as far as the eye can see. The horses must love it here. We have to make sure the youngest ones are herded together. All right, then. See them. That's Lily, and that's her mother, Ronya. Bibi, you and I will separate them from the rest and take them back to the farm. No problem. We'll let you guys take care of the rest. Mm-hmm. All right. Sure. But be careful. There's a swamp out there. Mm-hmm. Mm. Go, Masha! We're right behind you. Your turn, Baboshko. Let's join him, Tomo. The pipeline has to go through his farm. There's no way around it. Whoa! Janos, what brings you here? Marika, really? You know why I'm here. Janos, can... Can we please talk about this? I won't sit here and listen to your lies. And we're not leaving the farm. No matter what your sons do to try to get rid of us. What are you talking about? Don't you play innocent with me, Missy. And you can kiss our friendship goodbye for good. Hiya! Wait, please don't go yet. Hey, hey! Hey, hey! Stay! <laughs> All right. Now, you ride into the herd and drive Lily and Ronya towards me. I'm on it. Okay, ladies, here I come. That way! Let's go see Mikosh. Just a little further. <laughs> that wasn't so hard. You're not finished yet. Lily's gonna run! Hey, come back! Phoebe, after her! Go! Easy! We've got you now! Whoa, whoa! It's okay. You're fine. Calm down. That was harder than I thought. Here they come now. Wow, that was fast. Are you two doing all right? Yeah, we're good. <laughs> You're officially horse herders. <laughs> Great, and I think we earned a little break from our new job. Eeny, meeny, good defense. Give us water and a fence. Whiz, whiz. <laughs> Boy, were they thirsty. Mm -hmm. Well, this should be fun. Maybe we should try talking to them first? What? We have them right where we want them, so let's stick to the plan, okay? We'll make them sell. Let's go! Ah! <sighs> mm -hmm. 
We've got company. Look. Whoa, whoa. Can we help you? I'm just taking a closer look at the worst riders on the planes. Ha! What did you say? Don't get worked up. Make the most of your morning, because your hurting days are over. <laughs> Ugh, how dare you! Get back, or else! Looks like you got a little girl to stand up for you. Careful. She's pretty tough. Eeny, meeny, smile to frown. Laszlo sit the wrong way round. Eeny, meeny, run and roam. Send his horse rushing home. Whiz, whiz! Huh? <laughs> You'll see who gets the last laugh. Just you wait. Huh? <laughs> They'll pay for this. <laughs> Good one, BB. Did you see the look on his face? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he didn't see that coming. That's for sure. You should never mess with a witch. I have an idea. The four of us should celebrate. Oh yeah. Celebrate out here? Yeah, we'll sleep under the stars. Later, we'll all do the shardosh together. The what? Shardosh, the Hungarian folk dance. <laughs> Just do what I do. It's really not that hard. You'll see. That's it. Great. Now we'll peel off into pairs. Follow my lead, Bibi. <laughs> Mikosh, is this, uh... Don't be nervous. Go with the flow. Woo! <laughs> now spin! <gasps> oh, oh! Hey! That's tricky. <laughs> hey, Bibi, check it out. Baboshko's really getting into it. <laughs> <laughs> He's even better than I am. True. Uh, I'm not cut out for this. Can I use a spell? No, just practice. Come on. <laughs> One, <Whoa>. two, three. <laughs> <laughs> We'll wait until dawn. Laszlo, are you sure? Of course. Now quit second guessing me. <gasps> that was tough, but super fun. Mm -hmm. Good night. Mm -hmm. <sighs> <laughs> Go on, scram! Ah, wake up! Mm. Look what's happening! What's wrong? Huh? What's going on? <laughs> See ya! That's Laszlo and Vulcan! I know it! Alex and Tina, go after the wild ones. We'll take care of it. Phoebe, help me with Masha and Tamo. Hang on. Yeah. Let's go! <laughs> We've got to shake them. This way. Where'd they go? There. Hoof tracks. The tracks go into the water. Oh, man. A spell could help us. Uh, wait. See those birds? Something's disturbed them. Let's check it out. There they are. Let's slow down. We don't want to scare them away. <laughs> Lily's not here. <sighs> they must have gotten separated. She can't be too far. You're right. <laughs> Do you hear that? She's distressed. Oh, poor Ronya. Yeah, I know. I think we're going to need your help. That's her again. Come on. Whoa, 
There she is! <laughs> Just stay where you are. We'll save you. What do we do? Hmm. Oh, I got it. Grab some wood. Sure. Go, Boboshko! We're so close! Yeah! Yeah! Uh. Uh. These horses are slowing us down. Let them go. Okay. I'll grab Masha. Here. Steady. <gasps> Smooth landing. <laughs> Just a bit closer, Kay. Ah, there. Now let's catch those guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that should do it. Everything's gonna be okay. Ready to go? We'll start slowly. That's it. Now pull! I think that's far enough, Alex. Good work. Back up a bit. Ah, there. Aww, they're so cute. All right, let's round up the others. There's nowhere to hide! Get him! I'll catch Laszlo! Go, Masha! We almost have him. Leave me alone! You're not getting away with it this time! Whoa! Take that! Huh? No! Ah! Whoa! Whoa! Caught me a Laszlo with the lasso! Ah! <sighs> you stay back! Wait! What are you doing? Oh no! Don't do this! Come back down! It's too dangerous! This isn't a game! <sighs> Vulcan! You get back here! That's your order, got it? I'm done listening to you! Go away! Hang on! I'm coming! Help me! Vulcan, I was so worried. Oh, you could have been seriously hurt. You're lucky nothing happened. Uh-huh. Thank you for saving me. Yeah, thank you. I'm sorry for all this, and I promise we'll stop trying to drive you off your farm. So, Mikosh? Friends again? Yeah, I'd really like that. Mission accomplished! <laughs> Finally back! <laughs> Hi, neighbor! Huh? Marika? Whoa! Boys, I've been worried sick about you, too. This was all my fault, Mother. Leave Vulcan out of it. I don't care. I want an explanation from you both. We thought we were helping. We, uh... Spit it out. Give me the whole story. We sabotaged the axle on Yanosha's carriage. And the wheel. And last night we scattered their wild horses. What? Why did you do that? So they'd sell the farm. I just can't believe it. I'm sorry, Janos. I didn't see this coming. I must have worried the boys. How? Well, we have money problems of our own. Natural gas could be the thing that saves us, but without a pipeline, we're going to have to move away. Why did you wait so long to tell me about your situation, Marika? I'm sure we could have found a solution together. I should have, you're right. But it's too late for that now. No, it isn't. I've got an idea. Everyone, come with me. Huh? What's your plan? Watch carefully. 
Eeny meeny solution found. Dig a trench into the ground. Whiz whiz! <sighs> yes, that's it! Oh, you're wow. a genius, oh, guys. Amazing! Eeny meeny friends make up. Pipeline in and close it up. Whiz whiz! <laughs> It's like it's not even there. <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful. The gas flows, but the horses can still roam. <laughs> that was simply amazing, BB. Is there any way I can repay you? Oh, actually, there might be. Whatever you want. Anything. Well, I would love it if we had a dance after the auction, because we've got some pretty sweet moves we'd like to show off. Ah, I see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting pretty good at this. You sure are. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. <laughs> but it looks like Baboshko's the master. Huh? Yeah, oh, look what? at him go. Nice. Yeah. Doesn't this just take you back? <laughs> yep, the good old days. <laughs> Time for a surprise spin. Woo! Saw that coming. Well, that just proves it, BB. You're a real pro now. You think? Well, it's because I have a good teacher. <laughs> Swiss by quiet and free as birds, you see them gliding. Animal lovers, best of friends, they'll always lend a hand. Here come BB and Tina, I'm Amadeus and Sabrina. They're riding with Flair, wind in their hair. Friendship never ends. Friendship never ends. I understand your disappointment, but you're too young for this sort of race. But we're not too young, Mrs. Martin. And we'll prove it. Watch us put Pascal back in the stable. Here, come! <laughs> Quit it! Uh, how rude. <laughs> Let me handle him. <sighs> this one's heavy. You said it. <gasps> I see the finish line! Oh, hey, be careful! <laughs> it's a tie! Yeah, it's a photo finish. <laughs> well, I didn't find that very funny. Huh. Typical. You get to race while I work. Here, I'll give you a hand. Let me magic that obstacle together. Wait, stop! You know the rule. No magic allowed. Ready, Harry? Fine. Here we go. <laughs> It's so cool that you're designing the course this year. Sure, but I need to start <gasps> training, or else I won't stand a chance. <sighs> My cousin Albert's registered, so the pressure's on. Albert's racing? He's still learning. Ugh, I sure hope he's improved a bit. Mm, doubt it. Well, speaking of training, I say we race back to the farm. <laughs> we'll see you later. Come on! Hurry, Slowpoke! Hey, who are you calling a Slowpoke? <laughs> Follow me, slowly. That's it, Grand Mogul. Hello, Uncle. Good afternoon, Albert, and welcome. I must say, your stallion is magnificent. Please forgive Alexander's absence. He's quite busy at the moment. Oh, that's all right. I'm sure I'll see him at the race later. I'm looking forward to watching him eat my dust. So long. Wait, what's this? You're leaving me here? You know the way home, don't you? How rude. That boy needs to learn some manners. A little further. Okay. Oh. There. <sighs> All done. That's perfect. Thanks, you two. <laughs> First place. And on the big day, I'll beat you again. Oh, yeah? <laughs> we'll see about that. Finally. Marty and Sonia have been graciously giving me a hand. And you've been out playing? A practicing. Save your breath. I expect you to start chipping in immediately. Is that clear? Mm-hmm. We'll just quickly put the horses in the stable. Then we'll help. Promise. Hurry up. 
Uh-oh. She seems really stressed out. I don't understand why she agreed to host the starting line here. It's so much work. While you're in there, I want you to clean the stalls. No magic, though, okay, BB? Of course. Mrs. Martin, what time is dinner tonight? Ah, are you hungry? I'll whip something up. Things are already pretty tidy. This shouldn't take us too long. Yeah. <clears throat> But let's finish training tomorrow. Sure. Works for me. <laughs> Shall we? Let's go. Good morning, Father. You slept in. I thought you were out. Your cousin is already outside training. Ugh. He's so competitive. Indeed, that is undeniably the case, but, um... Perhaps you should try to be as well. <laughs> Don't you worry, I am. It's all part of the plan. That's it. Come on, to the stream. Nice <laughs> 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 work. You said it. Ready for this part? Uh-huh. That path is perfect for tempo training. Yeah. Want to see a pro? <laughs> well, if you insist. Huh? Hang on. Faster, Sabrina. Now, head straight toward those bushes. And... Huh. Faster! Wow! The two of you were so quick today! <laughs> we actually lost them! You're amazing! I'm all soaked! <sighs> that hurt! Watch where you're going! Ow! My foot! Hey, what? <laughs> Don't you worry about me. You know, you should watch where you're going. You should watch where you're going, too. Oh, that's not good. Bibi, are you hurt? My foot. That was Albert you ran into. Remove your boot. You might have sprained your ankle. <laughs> I'm sure you're right. Eeny, meeny, fast. Boot turn into cast. Whiz, whiz. Uh, hold on. Let me help you. Up we go. Thanks. Now let's get back to training. Ready? <laughs> there's no getting you down, is there? Not when there's riding to be done. <laughs> you should have seen Albert fall. He landed right in the middle of a puddle. He got mud all over him, like every... Uh... Baby, I think you'd better get your ankle checked out. No! I feel fine. Seriously, a foot injury isn't something you should just ignore, especially before such a challenging race. But I have to teach Albert a lesson. Can you at least let my mom take a look at it? No, I can't do that. She'd just make a big deal out of it and force me to drop out of the competition. Ow! You're clearly in pain. I know, but not for long. Eeny meeny, hurt no more, ankle feels just as before. Whiz whiz! Go, Sabrina! Hey, where do you think you're going? To that big, tall hedge. We're gonna jump it. Hear that? Feel like giving it a try, too? <laughs> <laughs> I knew you wouldn't say no. Let's go. Wow, he's gorgeous. Arabia will be competing tomorrow. Now do you see what I mean? She's way too big for you. Oh, yeah? <sighs> That wasn't so hard. We got up all by ourselves. Very impressive. But I still think the race is too dangerous for you. Now that you've made your point, come on down. Mrs. Martin, how do I do that exactly? <sighs> Leave it to me. <clears throat> there. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Keep munching and we won't have a hedge to jump over. <sighs> This'll be our marker. By the time we get here, we want to be in the air. Oh, it's pretty tall. Mm-hmm. We never cleared anything that high. But we will today. Be brave, Amadeus. I know you can do it. So can you, Sabrina. Ready? And... Jump! We did it! Woohoo! Nothing can stand in our way. <laughs> We're gonna win this race. Ha! <laughs> huh. Oh, really? While well, wearing a magical cast? We'll see about that. Let's find Alex. Great. This is just what I need. Hey there, Albert. What do you think of this jump? How pretty. 
Are you a gardener now, Alex? Nice try, Albert. Your humor needs work. Why don't you ask Bibi for help? Her spells would make quick work of this. Sure, but we're not allowed to use magic on the course. Ah, isn't that an interesting rule? So now, let's show them what you're made of. Whoa! Ah! Ah. Hey, are you trying to run us over? That's it. I've had enough. It's time to hit the stables and get training. Eeny, meeny, cast no more. Back to what you were before. Whiz, whiz. I know it looks okay from the outside, but you're still hurt. Don't you think my mom will notice? Nah, it barely shows. Come on. Ugh. BB, how come you're limping? See, told you. It's for the best, though. Come with me. I want to take a look at your leg. Uh, I... But, Mrs. Martin, I feel fine. I promise. I just have a... a cramp. Yeah, that's it. A cramp. Is that so? Huh? Hello. Bibi, I haven't seen you since you tumbled off your horse. What? You fell off Sabrina? You were going to tell me, weren't you? Oh. Was it our little secret? <sighs> What do you want? I'm just making a friendly visit. I heard that magic is forbidden in the race. Ta-ta. And I won't need it. Does your foot hurt? Uh, a little bit. Sorry I hid this from you, Mrs. Martin. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> well, let's go take a look, shall we? Oh. oh, you poor thing. Easy now. So, uh, do you think I'll be okay to compete tomorrow? I'm no psychic. We'll have to see. Hopefully it heals overnight. And what if it doesn't? Weeks of training out the window. Try to stay positive. That's often the best medicine. Along with getting some rest, of course. Here you go. Drink up. Thank you. I better go make dinner. Stay put. I'll bring you a plate when it's ready. Wow. Being injured sure has its perks. <laughs> Here. A treat for your hard work. Well deserved. <laughs> now, now, that's enough. You can have another later. Hi, uh -huh. Albert. Well, well, well. If it isn't the gardener and his workhorse, how are the flowers? Fine, thank you. And don't you dare call Maharaja that. Oh, I didn't mean to insult you, cousin. He's more of a one-trick pony anyway. Stop. I see what you're doing here. <laughs> um, hmm? Alexander. Hmm? Sorry to interrupt. I uh, believe you wanted to speak with Roger. Yes, thank you, Father. <clears throat> huh. Go on. He's so innocent. Never leave your gear out in the open. He'll be in for a surprise, and the girls will be too. <laughs> now here's the course. It's quite long, so we'll need a rest stop with a water station. Could you set that up by the old mill? Mm-hmm. Great. Thanks. Huh? Yeah. What's he doing? Off to train again? Mmm, that hit the spot. You know, I've been thinking, imagine if me, you, and Alex all make the podium tomorrow. Wouldn't that just be the greatest thing ever? Uh -huh. But remember the deal. You can only race if you're feeling better. Yeah, of course. Safety first. I don't care that much about winning. <laughs> as long as we beat Albert, I'm happy. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. I'm confident we'll beat him. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Hopefully I can be part of it, though. <laughs> Guess we should turn in. Yeah, you're right. Sleep tight. <laughs> All right, girls, let's see how well you do without your precious marker. <laughs> Come, Grand Mogul. Go ahead, Bibi. Try to put some weight on it. Okay. Does it feel any better? No. That's too bad. Oh, well. Nah, I'm just playing around with you. <laughs> <laughs> My ankle feels absolutely great. That means I can take part in the race today. Attention, contestants. Please begin making your way to the starting line. This is so boring. We're just gonna stand here and watch? No, actually. 
You're both officially course attendants. Your job's to warn riders about the big hedge. I'm sure you kids can handle that, right? We can handle that. Come on, Marty. <laughs> <laughs> Let's line up, boy. <laughs> <sighs> Feeling better then, I presume. Yep. Ready to lose, I presume? <laughs> I never lose. Well, it's time to begin the race. May the fastest rider win. And may you all compete in the spirit of fairness. Now, on your marks, get set, go! Steady. That's it. Ready, Sabrina? Here it comes. They don't stand a chance. Pick up the pace, girl. Ugh. What? You can't lose us that easy. We could have used some more training. You can do it, Alex. Right. Who has taken the lead? Uh, not yet, I'm afraid, sir. I'll stand by the gate and see what I can observe with my binoculars. <gasps> Ooh, that was close. Here they come. You there. Huh. Hey! <sighs> Thanks, Roger. <sighs> Just what I needed. Hmm. You should get going, Bibi. Albert has a big lead. Not for long, he doesn't. Double time, Sabrina. Woohoo! I'm unbeatable. Are you sure about that? You just give up. Uh, everything hurts. I don't think I can do this. I give up. But you're in second place. What? Uh, really? Uh, why didn't you tell me earlier? I could win this. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks. Uh, let's go. <sighs> He's not in second place. He's near the very back. My mistake. I must have miscounted. So what do we do exactly? Just warn the riders about the hedge. You hear that? Yeah, they're getting close. You're doing great, Amadeus. Tom! Hedge coming up! Get ready! Out of my way! Ha! Ah. 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 Perfect! Let's see them try without their marker. Careful! There's a big jump right up ahead! Remember the drill, BB? Wait for the stone. Uh, we have a problem. It's gone! We'll try without it. And... Jump! Ah! Oh, you did it! You did it! That was amazing! We're on fire! Oh, yeah! <laughs> uh, really? Just wait. When we reach the flat stretch before the finish line, we'll zoom right past it. For sure! Hey! Hi! Less talking, more riding! <laughs> They'll never catch us. We're almost at the castle. Full speed ahead! You heard her, Maharaja! No holding back! Faster, Grand Mogul! They're gaining on us! Ugh! We are so close! Ugh. Oh no! Help! <gasps> Eeny, meeny, snapped in two! Rain prepared and made brand new! Whiz, whiz! <sighs> Thanks, BB! No problem! Now let's go win this race! Oh, you still have a chance, Alex. Hey! <laughs> Move over! Yes, yes, in a second. But first, watch your head. <laughs> what? Careful, mind the branch. No. Stop! Slow down! Take it easy! Uh, 
Oh! Absolutely outrageous! How dare he use such a dirty trick! <sighs> okay. Are you hurt? No. I'll be all right. Come on. <laughs> we can't let Albert beat us like but this. But, Bibi, he's got way too much of a lead. Please, Go. watch. Yeah. Hey, wait for us. <laughs> One last obstacle. Yes. Ah, here comes the winner. Don't count. Now, I believe I've earned a trophy. Oh? Do you expect an award for cheating? What do you mean? I won fair and square. Not true. In fact, your behavior merits instant disqualification. No! You can't do that! Tell me, what did I do wrong? You tried to push me and Sabrina into a tree and off the track! That's right, and I bet you cut my reins, too. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I would never do such a thing. Let's find out, shall we? Eeny, meeny, no remorse. He who lies falls off his horse. Whiz, whiz. <laughs> <laughs> you should know my spells never lie. Unlike some people. Watch it, Bibi, or else. <gasps> Albert, behave yourself. I will not tolerate threats. If you continue to act this way, you will no longer be <gasps> welcome here. Yes, Uncle. I'm sorry. What was that last part? I didn't quite hear it. I said I'm sorry. I shouldn't have cheated. Well, then I can forgive you. And Alex, can you? Of course. It's behind us now. Very good. But one thing remains. Punishment. You will help Alexander take down all the obstacles. Is that clear? Yes, Uncle. And now, it is my pleasure to introduce today's top three riders. Bibi, Tina, and Alexander. Thank you! Children, you've been so helpful these last few days, so there's something I want you to have. Well, you've got my curiosity. What does it say? I don't know. It's a special registration form. You're signed up for next year's children's race. Oh, it's a dream it come true! <laughs> now, please, a big round of applause as our winners take a victory lap. This isn't a race, Catch is it? Catch me if you can! <laughs> Fun adventures, horseback riding Free as birds, you'll see them gliding Animal lovers, best of friends They'll always lend a hand Here come Bibi and Tina I'm Amadeus and Sabrina They're riding with flair And wind in their hair Friendship Fancy name. Edward Maximilian von Oldenstone III is visiting the castle with his horse called Leonardo. <laughs> well, we better get to the castle before he arrives. Alex is definitely going to need our help, don't you think? I really don't know how I could have missed the turnoff. Race you to the castle! Ah. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to startle you, but I... Oh! Oh! Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm Max, by the way. My name's Bibi. And this is my friend Tina. You both seem to be okay, so we should get going, right, Bibi? Right. Uh... uh. No! No? no? <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't want to keep you, of course, but I'm a bit lost. I'm looking for a fork in the road around here somewhere. Do you know where it is? You need to take the next right up ahead. You can't miss it. <laughs> Bibi? Bibi, we going? Uh, do you uh, want us to show you the way? <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. 
We haven't got time. We need to get going to meet the Duke's son. Ugh. I'll be there right after I drop off Max. Kay, ready? Yeah, Sabrina! <laughs> Ugh. Honestly, what's wrong with her? Whoa! Hello, Tina. Good day, Tina. Morning, sir. Where's Bebe? She's coming. Ah, oh, Edward. Edward, a pleasure to meet you. Hello, Count von Falkenstein. I've heard so much about you from your parents. <sighs> uh, what are you doing? I'm taking care of your bag, sir. I, I can do that. Oh, I see. Uh, thank you. <sighs> sir. Good morning, I'm Alex. And I'm Tina. Nice to meet you. Likewise. So where is your horse, Leonardo? Uh, there was something wrong with the horse trailer, I think. I'm not sure when he'll arrive. What a shame. I was looking forward to seeing him. Your parents said he's quite strong-willed, but a very special horse. Oh, he is. You got anything to eat? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> Here's the fork in the road. Can you catch up to that truck? No, it's too far away. We can stop here, then. Whoa! Wasn't that the Duke's trailer? Yeah. But why would you be so interested in that? Mm. <sighs> and why'd you want to catch up to the truck? It's probably just the Duke's son. The thing is, it's not easy to explain. I've got time. All right. I think I can trust you. But you mustn't tell anyone else. Not even Tina? No, not even Tina. Can you promise me that? Well, okay. I promise. Max is just my nickname. My full name is Edward Maximilian von Oldenstone III. So you're the Duke's son? Aren't they expecting you at the castle? I'm kind of there already. You see, my best friend Paul and I swapped places. He's pretending to be me. Uh, what's the point of that? Well, I just wanted to do my own thing for a change. Forget about my title and be free to take my horse and ride wherever I wanted. My parents always expect me to be a representative of the family. Even at school, I get treated differently from everyone else. What were you going to do then? I wanted to stop the driver so I could ride Leonardo for the last bit of the journey on my own. So your friend Paul's covering for you by telling the Count that Leonardo's not with him? Right. What happens when you get there? Will Paul look after Leonardo? That could be a problem. Paul knows nothing about horses. Leonardo's fussy. He only lets me take him out of the trailer. Hmm. I'm worried our plan will backfire and get us into trouble. But why? I mean, no one knows you. We could ride to the castle, and when you arrive, you pretend you're there to look after Leonardo as his groomsman or something. <laughs> I love it. Hey, why don't we get Leonardo now and go for a ride? With me? Sure. Why not? This is Arabia. She's one of our best horses. If you want to go for a ride, you can take her. Oh, th that's very kind of you, but but I... Edward, look who's just arrived. You had me fooled for a minute, saying there was something wrong with the trailer. Uh, but that's not... I, uh, I should really unpack my things first. Don't you want to say hi to mm. Leonardo? Why don't you bring him out? That way he'll get to know you. Uh, mm. There's also something understand. weird about him. Maybe a stressful journey? Alex, will you take care of the horse? I'm going inside to see Edward. Of course, Father. Uh, oh, can I help you find your room? Mm -mm. I wanted to ask if... Uh, yes? Something smells so good. Is that chocolate hazelnut cake? Yes, freshly baked. For this afternoon. It tastes best when it's warm. Would you care for a taste? Yes, please. Mm. 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 Delicious. I'm glad you like it. Ah, oh, here you are. Mm. I've been looking everywhere for you. I wanted to have a word with you about our plans for tomorrow. Your parents asked me to take you to the barbers. Then we need to go pay our respects to Baroness Highfield on her 83rd birthday. Mm. She's looking forward to hearing you sing for her. After that, we'll be visiting mm. the Count of Waterford. And at 5.30, you're expected at the home of Joseph and Josephine von Sackbridge. Uh... Come on. Leonardo won't respond to me. I had the same problem. <sighs> we need Edward, otherwise we'll never get him out. You're right. Wait! We'll help you! 
allow me. Hey, what are you doing? Why did you bring him here? Max will get the horse out, watch. There. So where to? There's an empty stable. You'll feel right at home here. Wow. Did you use a spell? There's no need. Max has a gift with horses. I don't understand it. Leonardo's totally calm now. Hey, do you think Max could borrow one of the horses and come riding with us? He's on vacation, and he hasn't got his horse with him. We promised we would show Edward around. Alex is right, BB. Edward will be waiting for us. He's nice. Once he's gone, we can go for a ride with Max, I promise. Okay, I'll let him know. They wouldn't agree, huh? Mm -mm. But I've got another idea how we can go for a ride with Leonardo. Well, I hope it works out. <laughs> and they seem to be getting on well. Yeah. Huh? <sighs> like us, BB. Uh -huh. Yeah. I've got to get back to the others. But why don't I meet up with you later? Sounds good. Where should I wait? Wherever you want. I can find you. Eeny, meeny, me and you. From one stone, we now have two. Eeny, meeny, smiling face. Each one on a leather lace. Wig, wig! Here you go. One half for you, one for me. This way I can use a spell to find you. One half will always lead me to the other. Wow. So are you a witch? Yeah. I hope that's not a problem. No. <laughs> I'll see you later. Edward. Baroness Highfield would dearly love to hear you sing, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Another piece of cake, sir? Mm-hmm. Nor are you obligated to go out for a ride with the Count of Waterford. <coughs> uh, slow down, my boy. Okay. Um... But I hope you'll consider undertaking these duties. Your evenings will be free. Here you are. Good morning. Good day, Bibi. Hi there, Edward. Nice to meet you. Ooh. Hello. Bibi and Tina have agreed to help Alexander show you around while you're staying with us. That's right. Sorry I wasn't here earlier, but I was helping someone who got lost in the forest. The boy's name is Max. Max? Uh, that's so. Nice of you. Leonardo's in the stable. We managed to get him out. Ah, thanks. What's Leonardo doing in the stable? Surely a ride would do him some good. And you too, Edward. Oh, no, I don't think I... Oh. <laughs> After all that cake, maybe a carriage ride might be a better option for him? Oh, yeah. Sounds great. As you wish. You are the guest. So tell me, what's it like being the son of a duke at boarding school? It's okay. I feel like I'm on show all the time. But luckily, I've got a great roommate. I can let my guard down with him. <laughs> Baby? Uh, what is it? Did you hear any of what Edward was just telling us? Yeah, of course I did. Sorry, you guys. I just remembered something important. I'll see you out later. Go, Sabrina! <laughs> Wait! Hey, Bebe! Hmm. Bebe! Bebe's been gone for over an hour. Where do you think she is? Meeting Max, maybe? Uh, I don't know. I think I just figured out where she might be. Uh -huh. So where'd she go? You're about to find out. Too bad you couldn't join us. I'm fine with this. We could go get Leonardo from the stable first thing in the morning and be back before anyone notices. Uh, it's too risky. What about Paul? We could get him in trouble. They'll all still be asleep. And by the time they wake up, Leonardo will be back. You know, you're amazing. <laughs> hmm? Whoa, Amadeus. BB. Hello, BB. Hey, Max. Uh, well, I mean, I'm assuming you must be Max. That's right. And you're Edward? BB's talked about you. Is this what was so urgent you had to leave us? I, uh, Max really needed my help. I was gonna come find you. Oh, yeah? Didn't look like you were in any hurry. You and Alex spend a lot of time together, but not in secret, and you're usually with us. Tina, the three of us will be just fine without BB. I thought we were supposed to be best friends. Yes, of course we are. But I can do something on my own, can't I? BB, you can do whatever you want. Uh, come on, Amadeus. I'll be with you in a sec. Okay. Yeah, yeah! 
See you. Adios. I'm so sorry, Max, but I need to talk to Tina. Of course. If this is gonna cause problems, maybe we should forget our plans with Leonardo tomorrow? No, no. It'll work out. Find yourself a nice campsite. See you in the morning. Okay. Till tomorrow. Whoa! Ah, finally, they're back. You're not going to check in on Leonardo? Later. Uh, hmm, strange. Why doesn't Edward want to take care of his horse? That's odd. Oh, my goodness me. I need to call. Amelia von Oldenstone. Good day, my dear. This is Falco. I completely forgot to call earlier and let you know that Edward arrived safely. Wonderful. Uh, Falco, I'm on my way out. My husband and I have to give a speech. Insights into the aristocracy and so on. Is everything all right? Yes. Well, uh, sort of. I, I don't know how to put this. Edward is behaving so... so differently to how you described him. If he's forgetting to eat because he's spending all his time with Leonardo, that's normal. No, no, no. Quite the opposite. Falco, so sorry, but I have to go. Let me call you in the morning, my dear. Then we can discuss this in more detail. Goodbye. Hmm. Goodbye to you, too. I'll see you tomorrow, Alex, okay? Uh, yeah, we'll see you then. Hey, wait up! I'll ride with you. Uh, see you, Alex. Bye, BB. Hurry, Sabrina. Tina, not so fast, please. Whoa, Amadeus. <sighs> if you knew the whole story, you'd understand. Understand what? You met a boy in the forest, but you know nothing about him. He just wants to go for a ride. He doesn't even have a horse, BB. Stop being naive. I'm not, but I can't say more. You can't or you won't. Well, well. Don't want to share with your best friend? You think I don't know what's really going on here? Why? What do you mean? You've got a crush on Max, so you want to be with him. And you don't care about our friendship. <sighs> Tina. can't come with us. <gasps> Eeny, meeny, cow and calf, now lead us to the other half. Whiz, whiz. Come on, Amadeus. Let's find out what she's up to. Baby. Thank you. Fresh herbal tea. <laughs> Whoa, Amadeus, let's wait here. Oh. Oh. Falco von Falkenstein? Good morning, my dear Falco. I hope I didn't wake you. Oh, no, no. Of course not. I've been up and about oh, for hours. That's good. Now, what was it you wanted to tell me about Edward yesterday? Uh, he was eating slice after slice of chocolate cake, and he showed no interest in riding Leonardo. I... Impossible! Edward adores Leonardo, and he can't stand chocolate cake. I'm not making these things up, my dear. Something's not quite right. Well, let's find out. Can you get Edward on the phone for me? Mm-hmm. Give me a moment, and I'll go to his room. Edward, dear boy, uh. wake up. Your mother's on the phone and would like to talk to you. Uh, uh, She's worried about you. Uh, Edward, did you just lock the door? Come on, please open up, Edward. I need Max now. Hello, Edward? Want to get Leonardo? Yeah, sure. <sighs> <laughs> Back to the castle. Hi, Leonardo. Good to see you, boy. Huh? Oh, no. Oh, Phoebe's friend is actually a horse thief. Oh, what do I do? <laughs> You're right, Amadeus. We've got to stop them. We're unlocking the door and coming in, sir. Amelia, you can speak to him now. He's gone. What do you mean, gone? Falco, what's happened? <sighs> Would you please 
tell me what's going on. Whoa. I'll get him back. How am I ever going to find Max? Hmm? Max! Max, wait! Edward? Whoa! Trust me, BB would never steal your horse. That Max guy has duped her into it. Max isn't a horse thief. Please, Tina, take me with you. I need to talk to him. Oh, not you two. Everyone wants to be with Max. You can't ride without a helmet. Please, Tina, it's an emergency. I can explain later. All right. Go, Amadeus. You get the best view ever from up here. Nice. We're on the right track. Come on, let's go. Whoa, Amadeus. They must be here somewhere. I wonder if we can see them. There, Max and Bibi. Whoa. 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 <laughs> what a view. The sunrise is beautiful, Bibi. <laughs> yeah. I will treasure this moment forever. Why are you two here? I was looking for you. I had to run away because the Count... Our cover is blown, Max. Relax. I've decided to tell everyone the truth. Now that's something I'm interested to hear. <gasps> Baby, did your spell include getting Amadeus? No. What's wrong? He was with us at... at the top of the mm -hmm. cliff. I'll find him, Tina. Yeah! <laughs> Let's get going, boy. <laughs> Whoa, Leonardo. Keep calm now, Amadeus. There. What a good horse you are. Whoa! That's Tina's horse! What are you doing with him? It's all okay, Alex. No, it's not okay. Edward's gone. Oh, he's fine. Everything's fine. I owe you an explanation. It was all my idea. I talked Paul here into pretending to be me, and I put him in danger. Hey, things turned out okay. I wouldn't entirely agree because I begged Bibi not to say anything to anyone. I managed to cause a rift between two best friends. I want to apologize for that. I shouldn't have doubted you, Bibi. I'm sorry, too. It's okay, Tina. And you know what? I'm never gonna keep a secret from you again. <laughs> Thank you for your explanation and apology. I've just finished speaking with your parents. Are they angry? They were horrified you wanted to switch places with your friend just so you could have some freedom. They had no idea you were feeling so much pressure. And so, we've canceled all your scheduled appointments. Hmm? You're now free to choose whatever you wish to do while you're staying here with us. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. But, um, what about Paul? Mm -hmm. Yes. My lord, what about the young man? Naturally, I would be delighted if Paul were to continue as our guest. However, I have one mm. requirement. You'll have to take a riding course at the Martin's farm. I'm afraid I need the carriage myself. <laughs> sure, that sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Last one to the farm's a rotten egg. <laughs> I still can't believe it, Bibi. Yeah. The whole vacation together. 